Now even though it might not look like it, we actually control all of the colonized de jure territory of the Empire of the Summer Sea. So um, if we just have a quick look at this, we control everything except obviously for some of these colonies. I might get them, I will definitely get a few more, but not all of them I don't think, because that's simply going to take too long. But um, yeah, these guys are currently only independent because we are in a mega war system. Uh, I was actually paid by the... Uh, the masters of the magisters of Mir to go to war with Pentos. It's an embargo war. We've been paid 200 gold for that. And well, initially it was actually meant for Mir to go to war and and fight this war. Um, but then the guy who paid me died. Uh, the guy who paid me died. So now I'm kind of in this war on my own, which is another weird glitch. But it's not really that you know bad because they only have eight, about 8,000 men we're currently fighting them right here in the Isle of Serpents and we have uh, yeah 20,000 men our levy from Gogosa's raised so we should be able to defeat them relatively easily I did go ahead and, uh, and build up the pirate fortress which is very nice and we built some other things as well we still haven't been able to get a huge slave camp again so yeah I don't know uh, but we've been sacking many things so we should actually be able to eventually get this again as you can see Yunkai we've sacked Astapo, we've sacked quite a bit. In fact, the Red Pyramid has been sacked as well, but it's taken such a long time that now it is uh, it is sackable again. Uh, yeah, we're currently besieging this. This has been sacked as well, and I think we've also sacked Yara. So, yeah, we're having tons of fun here in Slaver's Bay, and I'm actually currently on a quest overseas because I'm on a foreign tour in the Giscari city. So we've uh, we've met New Gis, Astapo, Yunkai, Marine, and Illyria, and I think we're currently on our way to Montaris, so we'll get to experience that as well. Now, a couple more things I want to uh, quickly go over. We have a new nickname. We're now known as the Amazing. And we also have a very amazing daughter. We have two daughters, in fact. We have Princess Arjana. She is quick, which is which is cool. And then we have another uh, daughter. It's just kind of regular. Uh, we have tons of concubines. We keep getting them. A lot of them actually died during the Red Death. But it was not... It, it did not touch us or... Well, it did touch both of my sons. But uh, yeah, neither me nor my wife... Um, and yeah, actually our daughter is a true born, so that's really nice. I like that. Um, wait, why are you child of concubine? Did I? I didn't get the chance to legitimize her or anything. That's kind of interesting. Hmm, that, I, I just uh, noticed that right now. Alright, anyways, uh, we still don't have a son, so we're working on that. I have given out all kinds of titles. The only ones I kept uh, are uh, Gogossos and Zamitar, because I, I don't really want to have Talon. It's not really that big of a... It's like not really that great of a castle, to be honest. Even though it was to build up the pirate den and stuff, it's what we started out with, but I don't think we need it anymore. Um, yeah, besides that, uh, we actually... I think we have a non-aggression pact with the... Uh, the Pirate King of the Stepstones, the one who conquered Dawn. Uh, I did not really mean to do that. I don't think it's it's bad, but yeah, I don't think it, it does not really matter. But I kind of kind of felt like I should mention that as well. Uh, and as I said, I've been basically just uh, spending time, um, well, raiding. And uh, we actually have this time another 1,000 gold in our fleet. So hopefully we will actually make sure to get this home this time and not, you know, get our, get our fleet destroyed somewhere uh, around uh, or somewhere on the way. That would be uh, quite bad. But yeah, um, new, I want to send you on to the boats here because we need to uh, siege some more trade posts at the moment. So we'll do that quickly. Uh, we'll chase the army around with our 20,000 men. Um, we are losing a little bit of money while we have our huge levies raised, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, I and a powerful group of loyalists have presented an ultimatum to Corsair Lucifer, demanding he ends his reign of misrule. Abdicate in favor of yourself. What? Okay, that's interesting. So, Lord of School Island and the Isle of Wines, he wants Lucifer Day to abdicate. You have 3,000 men. This guy has less. Okay. I hope he does not accept. Um, but we shall see. We've uh, arrived in Mantaris right now, which is uh, kind of interesting. Lady Siana Zopridar, uh, the Mad. Okay, well, that's interesting. In fact, wait, she is the ruler of Mantaris. Who's this guy? Oh, that's the one Illyria. That's what we've uh, we've just uh, we've just visited visited Illyria. Okay, as I wandered through the streets, I overheard some local traders talking with each other about setting up a trade route. Oh, yeah, we had the chance to do this before we failed. Maybe this time it's going to go well. Yeah, we failed. Uh, that's too bad. 
That could have really been quite, uh, quite good for us. Okay, and there is the revolt declared against Lucifer Day, but yeah, I don't think that he will, uh, he will lose this. He should have enough men in his, uh, under his command, I hope, at least. He still doesn't have a son, though. He has tons of pretty daughters. I mean, one of them is my wife, but they have all not married yet. So actually, wait, you have married? You have married, but this is a regular marriage, so this is not really going to help you out with your family. All right. The captain argues with you, no, 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 by the gods, no, I won't go, that's a city of monsters. I won't do it. Your frustration grows and you bark at the captain, that's just rumors, so uh, dock the ship already. I have an engagement in Mantaris. The captain smolders but finally relents and sails into the corroded docks. As you disembark, he throws you the tether and motions for you to tie off the ship. I'll be back after my meeting. You call back as you tie off the boat, then head into the city. The Blackstone streets are wrapped in thin smoke, settling inside the walls from the burning ruins of Valyria. Each breath you take is heavy and hard. Uh, yes. Okay. So we've made it to Montaris, and apparently our captains are not particularly, uh, yeah, uh, happy about that, but that's okay. Um, all kinds of uh, fav things going on with the council. We're going to Vas Efe. Right now, I'm actually not too sure where that is. Is that over here somewhere? I, I cannot even tell you. I don't know. Alright. Um, but basically, I'm just, I've just came back to show you this war. I hope that this war will actually be over relatively soon. In fact, you guys actually need to go ahead and destroy these 5,000 men. That'd be nice. I think once we have, once we have taken over these trade posts, these three, uh, we should be fine. We should be good to go. And then I was gonna... I was going to send my uh, troops back home, and I was thinking about maybe, um, yeah, raiding King's Landing for dragons, potentially. Uh, that would be really nice. Okay, uh, Day Fang, uh, not Day Fang, this is a different one. This is Lucifer Day, there you go. He has uh, come back with uh, his troops, I hope that he has. In fact, he has quite lost quite a lot of his levies at the moment, so don't know if he's really going to do too well. But if he should lose his castle, I'm just going to give it back. Um, Ves Efe, oh, that's a Dothraki Karl. Ah, okay. Um, the local nobles are having a feast and have invited me to join them. Mm, okay, we'll join them. And I actually gained, actually gained some diplomacy there. Oh, that's very nice. You dismiss the ship on the banks of the Shaka Hazdan and pass from the civilized lands into the Dothraki Sea. It's not long before you come across Korakaro and his Kalasar, and after some strange attempts of, at conversing and no small amount of gifts, you feel you've convinced them not to kill or enslave you. Well, I don't think they would dare, uh, to be quite honest. You feel, uh, yes, the co motions and a horse is brought out for you to ride. So you rise into the saddle and make your respects as the Khalsa continues its journey. Over the next few weeks, you roam the Great Grass Sea. Ah, oh, glorious. So yeah, so we're having all kinds of fun. My wife is pregnant while we are on a quest overseas. Hmm, that does seem suspicious. But yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll check we'll check this out. She, she might not be cheating on us. We can we can never be too sure. Okay, uh, I would like to siege this trade post real quick. Thank you very much. And then we'll go over to the Howling Mountain and we'll siege that trade post as well. We do control all the trade posts. Is that correct? Yes, I think so. Okay. Well, that's going to give us ticking war score, and then we will win this relatively soon. I need a new high admiral. I think I'll pick this guy simply because he likes me. And I like people that like me. Uh, yeah, that's just the way it is. Onwards to Lazarsh. There we are. And have we sieged this trade post now? We have not done it yet, I don't think. No, I, no, we have. We have. Okay. Yes. Alright, good. So we have them all under control. We should get ticking war score. We do. And I think that means I'll just go like this and we'll probably stand down our fleet. Because I don't need my fleet anymore. That's really not necessary. They're going to bring over some more men. I'm um, not too concerned, actually. Still losing a little bit of money. And yeah, okay, there's more troops coming back. But you are... I think you're losing your war. Yeah, you're losing, you're losing your war. Because all of your troops were all... all over the place. Okay, and T Fang has died, but you have your daughter, 13 year old, still at my court. Um, you can probably marry someone. Um, yeah, not quite yet, but you will be able to do that in the future. Perfect. Uh, after many days on the seas, you finally arrived at Lazosh. You're very excited. Yes, okay, let's uh, explore the lands. And 
Needs lock peasants on the streets. I shall give them some gold. I don't know. I don't care for people. I don't think I'm going to give anyone any gold. Why should I do that? You cross the Shakazdan again and enter the city of Lazosh, home to the Lazarine and their sheep god. You find it rather unassuming, filled with hastily put together wood buildings. Okay, yeah. I'm not too interested to read that, uh, read all of this out. Um, onwards to Vase Dothrak. Mm -hmm. I probably should have just gone for a short tour because we're actually missing for quite a long time here. Uh, you're going to be my High Admiral. I cannot appoint you. Oh, that's because I'm a... I think in a Regency, you cannot appoint these special um, titles. Anyways, uh, you have... Oh my god, the guy who rebelled just died. So you inherited all of his titles. <laughs> that's that's funny. So you got uh, three islands now. Okay, you got everything under your own control. Well, that's good for you. And the... Okay, someone has joined me, I believe, in, in this war. One of my vassals. Oh, that's good. And occupation. Isle of... Isle of Flies has been occupied. Well, let's try and retake that as quickly as possible. There we are. So at 78%, this should be this should be over soon. All right. Am I? Do I want to give? Do I want to stand down my forces yet? I don't think I want to do that just yet. We'll actually send you guys uh, around once more. And Doshkalin Barbo Barbo. She looks... Hey, wait, that's a dude. Doshkalin Barbo. He's by... He's for sure a dude. Okay. Well, in any case, that's kind of strange. We have a male Doshkalin. Well, why not? Equal rights, right? Anyway. Uh, whilst you were stopped in Vastothrak, some fighters approached you. Yes, we'll, uh, we'll always accept fighters because I actually need bodyguards. So I'll, uh, I'll actually accept these guys. I have accepted another guy from Illyria who's currently part of a household guard. Let me quickly show you this guy because he's actually also kind of decent. Um, so we have... Yes, let's go forward here. So we have Goris. I think that was him. Yes, he joined from Illyria. He's pretty decent. I like him. He's actually a siege leader. Um, so I might... I might use him in, in one of these uh, sieges. Um, but yeah, actually, you know what? Have we sieged everything by now? We could, yeah, raid Astapu again. No, we'll, we'll continue a little bit. We still have some more capacity to loot. Anyways, after weeks of riding the Great Grass Sea, you come to the two bronze horses of Waste Dothrak. The Carl riding with you removes his sword. Yes, okay, we'll do the same thing. You can obviously read all of this, but at this moment, I don't think I'm too interested. I was very interested for the Jade Sea foreign tour because I didn't really know that much about these cities. But for those, for the most part here, I know quite a lot about uh, already, so I'm not too interested. Um, okay, we're going to leave and we're going to start heading home. And, ooh, now we have chest pain. Well, that's interesting. Just as we get home. Hopefully our court physician, Fong, who has uh, actually helped us through the Red Death, um... We're not actually sick, but he kept us safe, I guess. Um, I hope he's going to do a good job here. But, yeah, I'm definitely glad that I have hired him. All right, this has all been sieged. I think, I don't even know, we're just going to let you, yeah, let you stay here for now, which is fine. We'll wait for these things to fall. And we're now we have fever. Ugh, that's not good. And someone wants to buy my other, my Carthian bodyguard. Yes, I'll uh, sell him for 150 gold. But I, I think he's pretty decent. I mean, he's a really good commander and a good fighter as well. So I'd, I'd hate to get rid of him, to be honest. Um, what's this? I feel that Lord Xalvalan has amassed more power than his titles is warranted. Mm, I will not have... Yeah, I will not have a part in this. And we actually... Wait. Did we lose the trade? Oh, that's not good. We lost the trade post. And yeah, you can sell him... 225 and this guy's yours. Yeah, okay, I didn't expect though. So, uh, so, I don't know why I have the lisp there. Okay, come on, destroy them, get the trade post back under control because then we'll get more ticking more score. And we died! <gasps> oh, what did we die of? Oh, man! Wow! Don't tell me I lost shit. Okay, I didn't. For once, I did not lose anything, it seems like. Um, we'll have to We'll have to see, actually, if that's true. Okay, my cousin does deserve a funeral, but what happened? I think everyone shall be invited. I mean, we have the money, so might as well. We did not get the money, though. We did not inherit all the money, I feel like. I feel like I had way more cash. Hold on. Hold on. This girl must be... Wait, she only has 100. 
Who gained all the cash? I don't actually know how much money uh, he had. We'll actually stop this kill plot here. I don't really like that. We don't have any rivals. Alright, so he died clutching at his heart. Not especially blessed. We hope he will find peace in the afterlife. Well spoken and outgoing. We expect Makan to have no problem charming the court to his side. Okay. So apparently we... Yeah, the foreign tour was too much. We, we simply died. Now... I hope we still have our... Yes, we still have our goal there. Oh my god, I'm getting a little bit paranoid here. Hmm. Well, um, I should definitely look... I should definitely keep an eye on... On the one person has ruled before us here. Because of his... Yeah, quick daughter. She's kind of important. Because we might want to marry her to one of our own sons or something. That is possible. Okay, we can pick a character focus. Now, we are a zealous man. We are authoritative. Humble and gregarious. I don't really know what that says, but I think we might actually go for seduction. Because I actually want to take over as my son. For once in this series, I just want to play my son. Um, so let's do that. I would like to have... Actually, not. I'm going to win this war. Because we're going to do that soon anyways. So we'll do that first, and then we'll, we'll do the rest. Okay, we can set the crown focus in Gorgosas, of course. Let's go, yeah, go ahead and do that. Appoint all of our council again. Alright, High Emissary, we'll pick you. Loot Treasurer, we'll pick mm, you. That's fine. No, I want you to oversee construction. This is still just a colony, by the way, so it's going to take a while until that is that is better. Uh, you can improve relations here, which is fine. You are training children, which I guess is fine too. And you can actually scheme. There's no one you need to really scheme for, or, yeah, there's no reason for you to scheme necessarily, but we'll let you do something as well. And I would like to have Fong as my court physician again. Ugh. Yeah, we're really dying quite young here. And we need an advisor, as well as a high admiral. As high admiral, I'm going to pick you. An advisor, uh, I guess I'll pick Retamo. Yes, because why not? We can have him on a council. Okay, so this was over quickly. Now we just need to make sure... Is this under control again? It is. So are we... We're not getting, taking war school for this anymore. What did they take over then? This they took. Ugh, man. How did they do that? Oh, well. Okay, there's going to be a funeral for... Um, I think he was our uncle. Um, yes. The amazing. Our amazing uncle. Alright, come on. Let's take this uh, this back because that should be enough taking war school. I hope that it that it uh, continues where it left off but I'm not sure if it will uh, it doesn't look like it um, maybe it's because I don't have them on our, my control right now that's so strange I need to retake these trade posts for some reason not really too sure why and we have um, a summer island liberation revolt and Fong is now stressed uh, great, and we have feasting going on right now. So where is this rebellion? Twenty thousand men! Holy balls! All right, well, that's uh, kind of a lot of people. Kind of a lot of people. Okay, let's go ahead and raise the fleets. Mm, raise the fleets from Nath as well, which I cannot do. Cannot raise any more fleets. What the hell? I am kind of, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. That's, uh, strange things happen again, as always. Whenever, uh, there's a succession, things are always weird. Okay, so, how much more money can we get? We can still loot a little bit, so we might as well stay here. Yunkai still hasn't fallen, come on. Now we can besiege the city of Yunkai again. Actually, that's what we're doing right now. Holy shit. The siege just takes so long, we can besiege the city again. Wow. In fact, let's actually, uh, assault that. And, uh, he is clearly not guilty. Oh, my God. Yes. Pay recompense. That's fine. Okay, we'll siege this down. We have destroyed a trade post here. Good. But we have also taken, yes, 200 gold. So we're at 1,400. Um, I'll send you guys over here just to make the siege maybe go a little bit faster. And there's the funeral. Um, yes, we've seen that already. Uh, Corsair... Emperor Nyadando Xara died clutching at his heart. He was a man with little likes or dislikes who just lived each day as it came. 
Oh, right, yes. Um, so it is done, very nice. And is there anything more we need to do here? Not necessarily. So in fact, I would like... I would like you to get on the boats as well. I think we're actually just going to go on to the boats for now. And I will only sell this guy for 225. If someone's willing to buy him, that's fine, but I, don't, I doubt it actually. A son was born to cause the Emperor uh, the Amazing and Manahura Day. Ah, oh, he died anyway. Ah, well that's that's kind of a moment. In fact, you might actually... Can I invite you to my court? I cannot. I could seduce you though. Mm, yes, let's do that. Let's seduce you. Mm, glorious. Ah, uh, she will be mine. Yes, have a little bit of seduction going on. And that should ensure that we have enough kids. Alright, you guys are still besieging. Stuart's Keep has been built. And how much more can we loot here? Not much. I think it might be time to come home. Um, simply because. With 82% here. Alright, so I think I'll be finishing off this war, we'll send our troops home, and then in the next episode, once everything is back to normal, we'll uh, maybe start raiding King's Landing and maybe finally get our dragon. That would be nice. Uh, anyways, though, that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.